me, I felt like the Titans are one of those teams, uh, and I think everybody really, you have to have, uh, it's important to look back and make sure you look at everything. Uh, and so because of that, the the offensive line is so uh, slept on. It's so uh, drastically important for me that I think it, it just needs to be continually brought up. A guy by the Nate Davis, a former guard out of Charlotte, uh, is a guy that I think needs to get more credit. Um, Nate Davis, uh, this last season, now he struggled in his first season, which in the NFL, and not everybody's going to be a Tristan Wirfs. Okay, you're not going to go out there and just immediately start owning people. You're you're going to so- have some growing pains. You're going to have some uh, some things that just don't go your way. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, I think he Nate Davis has done a great job. He's 6'3", 316, um, uh, a former third-round selection uh, by the by the Titans, uh, once again out of Charlotte. Um, but uh, Nate Davis, I think, you know, he did struggle in his first year, but he came out this year and only allowed one sack on 1,074 pass, pass rushing reps, which sounds a lot uh, very similar to a guy like uh, Tristan Wirfs, but I, I believe off the top of my head um, Tristan Wirfs, um, did have a couple more penalties or whatever, or maybe it was uh, Davis, but it doesn't matter. They both played uh, a good amount of snaps. Uh, actually, he played one more snap than Tristan Wirfs and uh, had uh, a couple more penalties, but it doesn't matter. Point is, they're both great players uh, in terms of the offensive line that deserve more credit. Um, a guy like uh, Nate Davis, uh, I think, could honestly be a big reason as to why Derrick Henry ran for over 2,000 yards this year. Um, but their entire offensive line is ready, and I'll make another video about that um, a little bit later. But give you another little bit of a background on Nate Davis, um, former two-star recruit um, out of Stonebridge High School in, in Ashburn, Virginia, uh, and committed um, to the – uh, committed to Charlotte, excuse me. So, um, and uh, went on and to have a pretty productive career. Then came to the NFL and did his thing. So again, 1,074 snaps, five penalties, and only one sack allowed. I mean, now the Titans are clearly going to be more of a, a running, uh, running the football kind of a team. But when you have a guy like Nate Davis who nearly had a 70.0 PFF grade this year, as opposed to uh, last year when again he did struggle and had about a 41 uh, PFF grade, a big jump there. Uh, and uh, last year he played about almost. Uh, Almost twice as many uh, snaps. He allowed eight more. He allowed f- uh, a couple more penalties. I believe it was uh, five more penalties off the top of my head. Three more penalties, excuse me. So he played 300 more pass rushing reps, allowed three more penalties, and allowed six less sacks than his, uh, which was incredible. I think it's one heck of a jump uh, and a guy that has, has started to find his own in the NFL as the starting right guard for the Titans. So I definitely think he's going to continue to be something special. Um, and, uh, and be a lot of fun for Titans fans and, and continue to lead the way for Derrick Henry.